you want. Oh, oh, boy, TV. They scared, but I'm not. They don't like comentario. Y suscribe. I told this fool stop walking around my house with no pants on. He just walks around like he's the man here. Shaq got his pants on <laughs> as he decided <laughs> to talk about J.J. Reddick. And what he feels like how he would respond as a player if J.J. Reddick was his coach. I don't think I could play for a guy who I just played against four or five years ago. I don't, I don't think I can do it. He's been out for a bit. How long? How long? He retired in 2021. Yeah, see? Three years ago. Yeah, I, I don't know. But doesn't everybody on that team just look to LeBron? And if LeBron says this is the guy, then everyone kind of falls into line? Yeah, but in certain situations, you're still going to have to, you know, co coaches are supposed to manage the players, manage their emotions, and manage situations. At the beginning, it's always love. Oh, yeah. Honeymoon stage. What's going to happen after the first sign of turmoil? If you want to be as great as a coach as you say you want to be, you're going to have to check some players. What's going to happen when you check them and you don't get the response? Or, or what's your response going to be when you get checked by a guy like that? That's the true test. So he's either going to be around a long time or he's going to have a short window. I'm, I'm talking about me. And I know as soon as you say some people attach it to whoever you're talking about. I ain't talking about Shaq. It's talking about me. I respect the game. I respect the purity of the game. I respect that I'm a player. You're a coach. There's like, I respect that structure, right? That how, how that is set up, right? You have a coach on the sideline for a reason. I come from that. I come from that, that, that time where you played and listened and you wanted to soak up knowledge and information, whether he was on the court playing or not, he's guiding and directing you to put you in positions to be successful. Now, is he questioning whether or not he's going to be a good coach or not? All right, that's that's still up for the, the debate because we don't we have no clue. But for me to add in how long you've been retired, what kind of experience you've had, that right, right, right. Like they made the decision for you to be the coach. We want to win. Like, what is the common goal theme right here? You're the coach of the Los Angeles Lakers. LeBron James is a player. Anthony Davis is a player. All the rest of these guys are players. What's the goal? We want to win. So how do we? get in a position where we mesh i respect you you respect me and we win together when you approach it like oh well, damn he just retired oh damn he ain't do he know the game do he that's when the disconnect happens and then there's no there's no room for success because there's a lack of respect so now i don't even respect you and i expect shaq to say that it's shaquille o'neal of course surprising because of who his daddy was, it's like it's so, I'm gonna be quiet. But like, why well, say hold on? You don't be quiet. No, because up, it just uh, seems like as soon as his dad passed away, whenever that was, it seems like he started bugging, just saying whatever he wants, start wilding, talking crazy, all of this. Like, I could be wrong, but just be running his mouth too much. And when Sarge was around, it was always respect. It was always. I ain't going to disrespect Kareem. I'm going to just show him that I could win. I ain't going to get in the paper and talk crazy about him. I'm going to just show him that I could win. Now every chance he gets, he's trying to <laughs> lean into entertainment. Well, let me surprise you with this. In my novice self, non-basketball playing self, I agree with Shaq. You know why? Because if it was you that played three years ago and now you're the coach, Shaq, I ain't respecting you. You telling me you spent three years on doing the podcast and you sound like that? The way you be sounding, Shaq? No. That's you talking about you, bro. You don't respect the game. The way you talk about the game is insane. The way I have... We know we have our criticisms of J.J. Reddick. He has his own agenda, pushing the new generation, whatever, whatever. Ain't no way possible you listen to J.J. Reddick, talk to these basketball players, breaking the game down, not leaning on having to go trolling on Twitter. Instagram, making diss songs, none of that. J.J. Reddick got hot in the basketball game and became the L.A. coach because somehow, even if he's fronting, even if this is just a show, I have nothing but respect for J.J. Reddick's knowledge of the game, the way he breaks it down for me. I learned a lot watching J.J. Reddick talk about basketball. Shaq. Bring that mic, bring that mic closer. Pause. Shaq, wh what are you talking about? 
on a on a night to night basis, we gotta watch you on TNT. Sound like a jerk. Like a jerk. Straight up. If it was you and all, any one of these guys that clown around way too much, Dwight Howard, and it's, remember, coaching is all about communication. That's all it's about. What are you communicating? All I see you doing is, is a fake Phil Jackson move. I'm going to start trolling y'all in the media and thinking I can play these mind games. Bro, that job is not that easy. And the way, I always point to this. Yes, Shaq, you're a great businessman, but you also lean on your celebrity a lot with the, with the, with the money. Let's get this straight. J.J. Reddick is not this celebrity. He became a celebrity. He earned it outside of basketball in terms of I'm going to go form this audience at the Ringer. I'm going to go form this audience at ESPN. And I'm going to create a million people, a million subscriber following on YouTube. All through really pretty much the game. Yes, he has his troll moments with the, with the, with the past. I, I, I was discussed with J.J. Reddick for that. The Larry Bird comments he made. He's been put, held, got his feet held to the fire. He's been on the hot seat enough with his own coworkers and peers who are going to target him during this season. It ain't just going to be Shaq. There's a whole bunch of these people that are using his name for this very reason. We use J.J. Reddick to get some views. We all do. That's the game you're in, Shaq. J.J. Reddick said, if I, if I wanted to, I could talk about Doc Rivers some more and get the million views I got off that. Instead of the 16,000 I got off explaining what happened last night at the game. That's what happened with me. He said this out of his own mouth. Listen, He's very self-aware. Listen, bro. They absolutely will be a topic every day. They have 41 or 39. 40 or 41. They, 41. they lead the so lead. In. Half. They have half of their schedule on national TV this year. Half of it. Now, the other half, who knows where you, you, you'll be able to view that with however you want to view it, right? Like, they will be a topic every, Fabian, when I say every day, every single solitary day, they will be a topic of discussion. They're going to own the narrative for the fan time. I don't give a, I don't care how good teams are. Boston could come back and win another 65 games. And L.A. is going to own, you know, the conversation. They just will. LeBron, LeBron and JJ Reddy. Twilight, Anthony Davis, what you got for me this year? The son. Bronny's first Bronny. year. J.J. Reddick, rookie year as a coach. What? Yo. It's your own crib now because the Clippers are going somewhere else. So now you don't even share crypto no more. That's y'all crib now. Right? Like... <laughs> And he lives by a dime. <laughs> I love it. I love everything about J.J. Reddick to the Lakers. This is amazing. I love it. Oh, he's Don Robinson, Don Robinson he said he saw J.J. Reddick in the streets cruising around his neighborhood, and he was floored. I love this. I don't – I have a feeling he will be a good coach, but it's not about that. It's about the fact that who do you think J.J. Reddick was coming into this? Jason Kidd, Steve, Steve Nash, I understand. When we saw him and we were like, word? None of us had confidence in Steve Nash being a, a Nets coach. I don't remember anybody saying that. Jason Kidd, I had confidence because, you know, I'm a fan and I was biased. But he, he was in the he was he's been to two conference finals. He's been to a finals already as a coach. What's stopping J.J. JJ Reddick from doing that in terms of or attempting to do that, bringing that to the game? I think he's going to do a better job than Darvin Ham. And I think he already has more respect in that locker room than Darvin Ham. He has advantages already worked in for him. Fabian, it's built in already. If he has any success in the first two, three seasons of his, of his career, <sighs> it will be directly tied to LeBron James and Anthony Davis. It will have zero to do with him, who he is as a coach, and how he... How he oh, I disagree. How he develops talent. Bro, everything... If, in my opinion, I think it's just going to switch completely to, well, he had LeBron James and Anthony Davis. What, what do y'all expect? There's going to be no respect put on him, who he is as a coach, how he put guys into position to be successful, how he's developing talent, what he did with Bronny as a rookie. And if they have any success in these first three seasons, he will not be the bearer of it. It will strictly go to the players. 
I disagreed initially, but I'm just thinking about how LeBron gets down and his fans get down. We took another rookie head coach to the, to the Western Conference Finals. You see what we, we see what LeBron does, and and LeBron, and it also depends on how LeBron echoes and reacts to these night to night moments to the success. How much credit are you giving JJ Reddick? Because you know that's gonna come with the shot at Darvin Ham. Even if he doesn't say it, the fans are gonna say it on Twitter. The Lakers fans are gonna talk about it. It is right. what it is. Ray, we'll never hear Darvin Ham's name again, ever again, in the basketball. We're never going to hear his name brought up, coaching, what he did, da, da, da. And I I love, respectfully love Darvin Ham. We're never going to hear his name brought up again. Hopefully you underestimate these damn wicked Laker fans. Oh, oh, boy, TV. They, they scared, but I'm not. They don't like commentario. Y suscribe.